All right, folks, say goodbye to this design. A new era is beginning. Show me your favorite memory of being here. Ready for the reveal? Good morning. Feels like a vlog kind of day. Getting a haircut, big day today. So first things first, just gonna take off the shirt and shorts that I just put on because I'm trying to weigh myself and be honest with it. Then we brush our teeth, make sure we get all the cavities. Then we floss, and then I quickly realize why no one ever films himself flossing because you can't really make putting string in between your teeth look that cinematic or cool. So I <laughs> stopped recording that. And that brings us back to the couch. Chilling with my guy here, Coca-Cola Polar Bear. So just wanted to make the video today um, partially for myself and partially for you guys. My grandpa the other day, he's like, when are you gonna release the next video? And I was like, been working on a few different ideas, but I haven't really sat down to film something. And yeah, this is gonna be the first vlog style video I've done in a few years now. It is lunchtime. I'm feeling like some Thai food today. I just pulled up their online menu. I'm gonna go with this. Hopefully I pronounce it right. I think it's Gui Tio Kuo Guy. I hope that's right, I really do. We ran into a dilemma though. We wanna add both chicken and beef because you know, I am a big time eater, but they only let me do one on their website. I'm gonna try giving them a call to see if, to see if they'll, they'll let me do both meats. Hi, is it uh, okay to order uh, for takeout? Yeah, sure. Uh, sorry, I might butcher the pronunciation here. The is it the Guai Guai Tiao Quo guy? Yep, no problem. That was great. <laughs> Could I do that with uh, with chicken and beef as well? That'll be it. Can I have a name for this order, please, sir? Yep, for Ezra. Angela. And that is bag secured. So let's go get our food. That summer heat is killing me, guys. Hopefully it's not too hot wherever you guys are because it is very hot here in Utah. Turn this all the way up, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Hello, order for Ezra. We've secured the bag, let's go eat. Big time eating time, big time eating time. Ooh, fire right here. This is the Guai Tiao Quo Guy. I got it with chicken and beef, thanks to the phone call. Let's go ahead and get a bite. I absolutely love these noodles. And the way I describe this is it's kind of like a sweet, savory. Mmm. Yeah, I love that they put a little bit of fried garlic, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. There's a piece of beef there. Mmm. Oh well, I'm just gonna eat my meal, then I've got something fun next up for you guys, so stay tuned. We're now taking the post-lunch walk. Recently picked up this walking treadmill because Excuse me. Recently picked up this walking treadmill because it is way too hot over here in Utah right now to go outside for walks the majority of the day. It means consistently 100 degrees, 90 degrees plus. So not ideal walking weather for me. I guess this is a way for me to practice my, my vlogging skill. I'm gonna put this down so I can walk and talk with you guys. Okay, this is a little bit easier. So I've got the walking treadmill set up. Just picked this up last week and I've especially loved doing it after eating a bigger meal or any meal because I've noticed it helps aid with the digestion. I don't feel as lethargic after. So just try to clock like 10 minutes and across the day try to clock in 10,000 steps. I'm just kind of functioning under the philosophy that whatever is measured is managed. I bought a MacBook recently to help aid in my content creation and the thought occurred to me that I actually haven't fully finished a video on there yet even though the whole point of it was for me to be making more videos. That's what I've had in mind in this video. I just wanted to make something. So recording this, uh, this is all off the, off the dome piece right here. I didn't script anything today. Got a few more hours of work. Then we're gonna go off to the haircut and then we're gonna go off 
to the hair dye and design. Just about to clock out of work now. Sorry if the audio sounds a little bit different. I just switched to the on-camera microphone because I'm gonna go get a haircut, so it doesn't really make sense to be wearing one of those wireless lab mics. It's just gonna be rubbing on everything. So, just clocking out now. We've arrived at Fast Times Barber Co. What's good, dude? The hey, haircut. Barber, what's going on? Like, I think we're just doing the. Holy sh! My my hair's falling out at this point. <laughs> I think just the same thing. So just buzz, line up, and then a clean slate for the next design. Okay. It turns out I was completely wrong, and Isaiah actually does want me to use the lab mics. Yes, but sir. Welcome to the cut. Appreciate you guys enjoy, uh, enjoying, enjoying us. us for the vlog. Looks fine. What is this called, by the way? This is your next trip. Next trip. All right, folks, say goodbye to this design. A new era is beginning. A new Ez era. An Ezra. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been looking at buzz cut, like the hair dye designs all day, but I have not come to a conclusion yet. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, I just read the text at the bottom of the mirror. It says, objects and mirror are as beautiful as they appear. Yes. Most, most of the time we are. And I was thinking something like this. Oh, yeah. really the Keith Haring art, something like that. That may or may not happen. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. I think that would be sick. Maybe this. Take a look. Doggy vloggy. Is our mascot. All right, this is the part where everyone has to shut up and stop talking Israel before has, my hair Israel gets disintegrated. Has one of the most difficult lineups I've ever done in my entire life. Battery's about to die, so oh, no. I'm gonna catch you guys after the haircut. We've got genitals. I don't know if I like that intro. It's a buzz cut right there. We got the buzz. Yes, Check sir. it out. How are we looking? Comment down below. Maybe not. Wait till yeah. it's all dyed and pretty and dressed up. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Right there, if you ever need a cut. Um, ZayJones00 on Instagram. Yep, I'll have it linked down below as well. Thank you for the cut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just got stage one of the hair, but now we're gonna go and do the next stage, the dye. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Forbidden pre-workout. The forbidden pre. You sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm doing. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Whoa. Cape me up. All right, so we're just, we're doing the first stage of bleaching. I don't know, you explain it, you know this better. Yeah, so we do the first stage right now. All right, so she knows as much as I do. <laughs> so yeah, dyeing my hair, putting a cool design. I'm just so mean. Now when you say I'm just so mean, what does that even mean? I think it just means I'm being myself. I'm so me in, in all the actions I do, the decisions I make, the style that I have. I don't want to be anyone else, I just want to be myself. And also, one of my favorite rappers of recent heat, the whole album is named I'm So Me. It's one of his original albums. I just thought that was I'm funny. So me. I'm So Me. Is it Yeet? Yeah, by Yeet. That's what I just said. All right, another question. There was a period of time in your life where like, you kind of lost yourself a little bit. When you were a little kid, you just didn't really care what people thought. Like, I remember you wore like Uggs in July. And I was like, bro, what are you doing? And then like third grade, Santa hat, in the middle of July in Utah. And then no, like you didn't care what anyone thought. And then all of a sudden you did. Why, what happened? And then how did you make your way back to, yeah, I'm so mean. That is a, such a deep question. <laughs> Well, I think especially how you and I grew up, we grew up in a pretty controlled religion that set out a lot of guidelines of, of how you're supposed to act, especially at church, and what sort of um, way you're supposed to portray yourself and hold yourself. And I think especially with how out of control our household was and how abusive mom and dad could be sometimes with what they said or what they did physically. I think at, one, at some point, I just felt like, oh man, Maybe what everyone else is telling me is true. So yeah, as far as how I made my way back to just being myself and not really caring what other people think, being a little bit more independent, especially with being an adult and paying for my own bills, 
realized again once more like majority of people don't really have context on your life they don't really know who you are they may know of you or they may know of a version of you but really you're the only one that's 100 percent by your side every day so it's up to you to make the decisions that fulfill you as a person and that's what i've recognized again so I'm not trying to be anyone else just trying to be me all right viewers i've completed stage one now we're gonna let this go for about 15 minutes rinse it out then go to round two and so now we're doing round two it's been 30 minutes i'm covering up my nipples for youtube okay we're gonna rinse it out and we're gonna see the result okay you guys ready ready for the reveal i'm johnny test i'm You're johnny guy test fieri. i'm guy fieri <laughs> okay so we're gonna do the toner real quick we're running out of time tonight so we're just gonna do the toner and then She'll help me with the design tomorrow. So now I'm all white like the snow, I'm icy like 1017. And we're in a new environment. We're actually at my house. We're back at my house with my sister. More space here. More space, more timer. We're gonna do the design now, so stay tuned for that. Usually, this is where I do my cooking. So that's why, that's why we're starting off with some coconut oil on my head. <laughs> so what, what, why do we have to put coconut oil? So, protect your skin. Coconuts protecting my skin. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So what design are we doing today? We're going to stay with the Keith Haring Dang, art. Story time. Tell me your favorite memory of being here. Um. Wow. You don't have any good. There aren't very many good ones. Wow. She asked me a deep question and wants an answer in one <laughs> second. What? So. What would you do if this is actually black hair dye? What would you do if I was a worm? Would you still love me? <laughs> These are the type of questions she's asking me right now, guys. Well, what would you do if I just outlined your whole head in black? I don't know why you'd do that, but um, favorite memory. I guess the one that's coming to mind is just, I think when we were living in Seattle and in Washington, anytime we had the chance to just go get teriyaki plates, that was always a good time. Because you'd always get, you'd always get the teriyaki and I'd always get the katsu. But now I feel like I'm the other way around. We'd like kind of sample each other's plates. Yeah. Katsu pork or katsu chicken? Well, the traditional Japanese style is pork, but I think the teriyaki plates in Seattle, since it's a little bit of fusion, I think they were just chicken. What about you? If you're gonna ask me that question, what about you? Well, I have so many good ones. I have so many favorite ones. All right, well, just say So one. I have like a million coming to mind. I think when you took me rock climbing the first time. Yeah, just a few weeks ago. I was a big time rock climber. I would say I like rock climbing, but I wouldn't say I'm good at it. So I would good. say I'm okay at it. What are we doing right now? I'm just re-bleaching some parts. Again? This is like the third round. My hair is going to fall out. I'm getting wrapped up. I'm like a mummy. Okay, I'm covered in plastic wrap for the fourth, fifth time. All right, so you can see my hair is a little bit different color than it was before. And as Bob Ross would say, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. The toner changed a little bit different color, so we're gonna be having this as our canvas. It's like a light, light purple, almost silverish. Yeah, let's take a look. So now it's design time. I won't make you guys wait any longer, so I'm gonna show you the inspiration. <laughs> this is what Kika drew. So we're gonna put on his head. No, let's. So we're gonna do the Keith Haring heart picture. This is one of my favorite pieces of art that Keith Haring made. So yeah, we're gonna put that on the back of my head. We're gonna add a little bit more flair to it. I'm allowing some creative direction to Kika. So we'll see how it turns out. And Kika just finished the first. One guy down. First guy as part of the Keith Haring design. What's his name? I don't know. I don't think they have names. Time for the big reveal. Do the honors. And now we do a couple finishing touches to make it our own. All right, party people. We've finished the design. It is now 1 a.m. So we've got to clean up a little bit, but just want to say shout out to my sister. Thank you for your help today. Thank you, bro. Love you. All right. So check it out. 
but it's pretty sweet. It is the next day here. Um, but I really think the Keith Herring design turned out really well. It turned out exactly pretty much how I wanted it to be. So this video, this vlog has spanned across three days just because mostly the hair. Why I wanted to do my hair like this is it's kind of like a reaffirmation to myself. I don't need to be like anyone else. I just need to be like me. And also keep some sort of record so I can look back on this. You know, I'm still young, 23. I got a lot of life ahead of us. I know there's people that are younger and older than me. Just know every day is a new day. Love how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. And I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of who I am too. So see you in the next one. Peace. Just shut up.